Hello everyone, this is Inuyasha86000, and I thought I'd do a video on how I created what's called a traffic light controller. Now this is using Project Red, but you can do it on uh, Blue Power, uh, Red Power, basically anything that uh, has uh, the IC workbench here. Uh, pretty much what it is, is... Um, you take your blueprint, uh, this is assuming you're already advanced enough to know uh, how to work uh, Project Red and such. Uh, what you do is you take your blueprint, your blank blueprint, and it can just be the smallest size, the uh, 16 by 16. And uh, this jumbled mess is actually a completely functional traffic intersection light controller. Uh, basically, it operates all three of the normal colors, you know, green, yellow, red, uh, for both directions, as well as um, ground sensors. So you can use either pressure plates or whatever uh, to detect when something comes up to the traffic light so that it knows it's there and then it will change the sequence. And it does it, uh, it does its green and then goes to yellow for a couple of seconds and then to red and switches the other direction to green. Now, what we do is, and the reason there's all four sides is so you can connect it any direction. So what you do is you take bundled I.O. and once you place it, you right click it and all the colored ones except for the grays set to output because that's what's going to light the lights so you have lime which is one directions green you have yellow which is that same directions gr uh, yellow and then red which is the same direction what it is these three are one set of traffic lights these three are the other set and then this gray one here operates this set, I believe. So this is a sensor to detect when someone is at this set of lights. Or is it? No. No, my bad. I, well, worst case, it, you just figure out which one is which. It's not really that important. Once you, once you figure out which so, which um, wire it is once you have the lights set up which I will build a quick demonstration of in a couple of minutes uh, but after that you can figure it out but these make sure you set to input because they're like I said what detect the um, what detect the um, whatever it is that comes up to the traffic light now, as you can see, there's kind of a jumble of wires. Um, each wire is colored for a specific purpose so you know what it does and what it's for. So, just kind of feel free to take a screenshot of the wires and how they're set up. Uh, that way you know exactly where each wire goes because uh, I won't explain the colored wires because, well, you see where they go. Uh, now for the actual um, for the gates this and the state cells what you will need is four counters so one here one here and then mirrored on the other side four state cells and ten pulse formers now note the orientation of all the pulse formers and all the all the equipment. The pulse formers are pretty easy. You can tell which direction they're supposed to go just by the little doodad thing on the front. Now, I'll give you a close up of each one of the counters so you can see. So, you can see that this counter the needle is on the right and the plus is to the top 
and we have this set so that only one switch per redstone input. Now the reason for this is when a redstone signal comes in from the left it will activate a sequence. Basically it's detecting a vehicle. So it activates a sequence which hits into this pulse former and then activates this state cell to change the traffic light to yellow for the other direction and then switches uh, basically it does the whole thing it's hard to explain easier in my head so anyways remember this counter only one should only be set to max one and the plus should be up and the needle should be on the right the mirror side obviously needle on the left plus to the bottom now this counter where the red and the lime meet so that's the same sides colors this one the needle goes to the bottom and the plus goes to the right now this gets a little complicated maximum two now click varied increment must be one so for the plus must be one decrease must be two which means when it gets a redstone signal on the decrease side it will go two tick two moves instead of one and there is a reason for this same as with this counter needle on the top plus on the left max two increment one de de decrement or whatever they call it two now for the state cells these state cells please note the needle although it's hard to tell is at the top and you set it for 10 seconds this one needles on the bottom set for 10 seconds what that is that is a time delay that way a traffic light cannot be changed right away in sequence over to the other s over to the other direction now this state cell please note needle on the bottom three three seconds and this state cell needle on the top three seconds what these two do are the length of time for the yellow to stay yellow before switching the traffic light completely over now we should have everything set uh, don't need to erase anything so let's get out of here uh, I don't remember how to uh, there there's our blueprint right there. Now, let's plunk this in the printer. As you can see, there's everything you need. And there's our traffic light. Now, I'm just going to do a very quick setup. There's our controller chip. the gear we need is red, green, yellow, and then pink, orange, and green, 
And then we have gray and light gray. And we'll go with just some normal bundled cable and free step bundled cable. All right. Now obviously you can hide this underground or whatever you wish. But for this demonstration, it's just going to be out in the open here. Okay. I recommend using the bundled cable so that uh, you have freestanding cable. And I actually forgot, I don't need that type of cable. I need the freestanding stuff. All right, so okay, green, yellow, red. Red. All right. Now let's put some lights on it so we can see. Now keep in mind these are just rudimentary. Oops. Okay, now why are they not lighting? They should be lighting. Or did I set that wrong? I think I may have set my blueprint wrong. Oh, if I set my blueprint wrong, I'm a moron. Pardon me, everybody. Take a look. Yeah, I'll put Okay. So we should be outputting on the dark green then. So why are we not getting an output? On this line here. throw a couple of pressure plates down. There we go. Okay. I guess it's just a technical glitch at the start, but you see. I was for this direction, someone was standing and waiting. Now, 10 seconds should be up. So we pull up to this traffic light, as if we're waiting, and yellow, red, and green. And as you can see, it's not detecting until that light changes. The only technical difficulty is if someone's standing on it, it won't detect it until they move. But as you can see, completely working traffic light system. Well, hopefully you all had fun with that. Hopefully it's easy to understand. And uh, please let me know if this was informative. We'll catch you next time.